Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python for Testers tutorial, we are going to learn about string formatting in Python. So string formatting in Python is very important concept. Now, the reason being that, say for example, you are writing an automation script or Python program, and you want in your logs, in your console, to print out certain strings, and that those strings need to be formatted in certain way. So you need to understand what are the different ways you can utilize to format the strings and what are the good ways to basically handle the string formatting, which will make your life easier. So let's get started and I'll create a file. So let me create a new file and I'll name it as string formatting. Now here, let me define two variables. So for example, x holds the value Python class and then there is a variable y which holds the value RCB Academy. All right. And now, so for example, I want to use these variables and format a string. So say for example, I want to print uh, welcome to Python class from RCB Academy. So how can I use these variables and format the string? So the first thing that we'll use is we'll say the traditional approach. So we'll say welcome to and then we'll use the concatenation operator which is basically plus and then we'll use the variable x so that will become welcome to python class and then again plus and then we'll use from so another string we'll define and then again plus and then variable y okay so what this will do is this will concatenate this string with this particular um, string or the variable x that holds the string and then concatenate with from and then concatenate with rcv academy so if we run this now let's see what will be the outcome so we'll see that it has printed welcome to python class from rcv academy but this is not pr uh, formatted properly so it holds the proper value but then we have to put the proper spacing at the particular places so welcome to and then there needs to be a space and then from and after from there needs to be a space as well so we need to format this accordingly and this is how traditionally you will format the string so welcome to python class from rcv academy is printed properly now this is more of a traditional approach now second approach to format the string is say for example we'll use the percent operator so how we can use the percent operator so we can simply say uh, welcome to and then within this particular braces we can say percent string right and then we'll say from percent string okay percent s and then these two values will get basically replaced by so what we need to do after this is we'll say person and then we will provide the values so we can say x comma y okay so now this will do the same thing that we have done here so what this will do is this will replace this person s with the value that is uh, held in x and this person x with the value that is held in y okay so if i run this now it will print out the same outcome for me so this is basically how i will format the string using the percent operator now this is also not very um, popular and say for example where you will find issues with these approaches is say for example there are 10 different variables and then you have to format all those variables. So then you have to keep using these percent %x uh, at 10 different time and you have to make sure that this x and y, those variables are in sequence and then they'll be replaced accordingly. Instead of these variables, we can directly use the strings here as well. So say for example, here I use uh, a string Java class and then I can do that same thing as well. So here you can see, welcome to Java class from RCV Academy. So string I can use directly from here or I can store that string in a variable and use the variable here. 
okay now the third approach that i will discuss is the format method format method is very helpful to format the string and how we can use the format method is basically so we can say print and then uh, we can specify so say so for example we can say uh, welcome to and then we'll use the curly braces okay so we'll use the curly braces and then say from and again curly braces and after this what uh, this will do is this will basically then dot and we'll say format okay so in the format function we will provide the arguments that need to be replaced in these two curly braces so here what we can do is we can simply provide x and y okay and that will do exactly same outcome for us so welcome to python class from rcv academy now these this formatting uh, we can do with the index as well so for example this is index 0 and this is 1 now say so for example here i want to replace the index 1 and in the second one i want to replace with index 0 so this will become to this will uh, become welcome to rcv academy from python class so let's run and see how it so you can see welcome to rcv academy from python class so this is possible with the format method and this is basically the uh, most recommended and useful approach that you can use now for automation uh, you can use any of these as far as you do not have too many variables to replace if you have too many variables to replace um, i would recommend this format method to go ahead with because this is easily understood and you can use the indexes and you can use the uh, keyword arguments as well here so i'll show you how you can use the keyword arguments so instead of indexes say for example i want to use the keywords okay so what i can do is <coughs> here i can say welcome to uh, so for example i want to specify the academy um, name right so this is the keyword and then i will say or i will say class uh, here it is the class name and then academy name okay so this will make my code more readable so welcome to this class name from academy name and then what we need to do here is now because we are using the keyword so in the format method we have to make sure that we have these keywords as well so what we need to do is we need to simply change this to class name and then assign whatever the value is held in this particular uh, value uh, variable so x and then academy name in this like this all right so y the value in y variable y is now in the academy name and academy name will be replaced here and class name will be replaced here okay so if i run this now it will give me the exact same result so welcome to python class from rcv academy so this is more readable and more useful so I can use the variables here or I can provide the direct values or the strings here so I can say Java right or I can say Perl say for example I'll say Perl okay so welcome to Perl uh, from RCV Academy so let me run this and you will see that welcome to Perl from RCV Academy so these are some of the formatting options uh, that are available simple options basically you can use the traditional approaches or uh, the format methods format method is the recommended approach because it makes your code more readable and clear to understand if somebody else is reading your code so format method was introduced in uh, i believe uh, python 2.6 if you're using anything before 2.6 i don't think you will be having this format method uh, you can check that over google uh, but I'm, I'm i think it is 2.6 so hoping that most of you will be using the latest version of python so format method will be there and you will be able to use the format method to format the string in the way that i have uh, explained here do not just stick to what i have taught here go ahead work around play around with the format method and try to format the strings in different ways that you are looking for that will be really helpful and make your learning um, elaborate and more you, you'll be having a more deeper understanding of the format method and how to format the strings so that's all for this tutorial
I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.